Good morning, everybody. It's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie. And today I wanted to take you through my quarterly review for the first quarter of 2020 and how I have set up what I could for the second quarter of 2020. Um, this is my A5 folio in the Prince Leather from Chic Sparrow. And as you can tell, it's I do not baby it. And in fact, Tear, I think it was Tear, has decided that he likes this leather as well and has gotten a couple of claws in there but that's all right my world would not be the same without him so you know do what you can um i am using in the folio my hobonichi uh 2020 cousin of beck this is the january through june and it is just a half a, a year in one book and then here is the uh wonderland 222 planner and I use this in tandem with my Cousin of X because the Cousin of X are broken up into two books. It's hard to have both of them in reference. And so I actually like being able to look back at the year in certain things. And this has trackers and all that kind of thing. And I'll go into that in just a few minutes um, because that's where the quarterly review is. Um, but I just wanted to take you through quickly my Cousin of X for, uh, for the first three months of the year. And this, for those of you who don't know, I actually use the Writer Carol bullet journal method in my Cousin of Eck. And so I use it in my Hobonichi um, uh, books. I use this as my future log. And so I put down anything that I need to mark through. A lot of this starting on the 12th of March has been canceled, obviously. So, yeah, we're just kind of... Hanging on to see what happens. Um, we have, um, uh, this is January. This is how January looked. I am normally a more minimal planner. And so this is the monthly log. So I usually, in a bullet journal, you have the 1 through 31. Um, and you just write out what happened that day. That's what this is when I remember to do it. So this is January and it went pretty strong. This is February. This is the month that I was the guest planner for Coco Daisy and I love February because it's all about love and hearts and happiness and joy. Um, this was our sixth leap anniversary, and uh, Greg proposed to me on leap day. And uh, February is about the only time you will see me using a lot of pink. Um, I normally am not a big fan of pink. However, this year I kind of switched a little bit and I am embracing more pink than I have in the past. Um, I've kind of had an aversion to pink uh, and it kind of happened from growing up. I had a pink bedroom and it really wasn't my choice. <laughs> I just always thought, oh, pink must be my favorite color until I actually sat down and thought about it and realized, no, orange is actually my favorite color. So, anyway, this was how February turned out. And then, I was going pretty well until we hit this week. And this is when all the uh, things about the issues that we're all having that I can't talk about or say the words of. Um, this is the date that we were actually told we were going to start working from home. And here is when we were, um, here we were actually seeing if it was possible. And so all of us kind of knew something was up. And we thought, oh, it's going to be, you know, later in case, you know, something big comes down. Yeah, from there to there, it took two days for us to go, nope, we're working from home right here. So from this day on, yeah, my whole vacation, my week vacation to Gulf Wars, um, which was in Lumberton, Mississippi, got canceled. And yeah, so I, I don't have a problem having something blank. And what this tells me is there were issues. And so what I'll probably go back in and kind of just make some notes, but this, these two weeks have been the hardest two weeks so far <laughs> and we are just now currently on april 2nd i haven't done yesterday's yet 
So, but this is today. And this is, this is basically how my month starts out. So, very minimalist. Um, these are um, the Coffee Monsters Co. and her uh, holiday um, sampler. So then we get into the, the weekly view. And this is how, this is what usually stays open on my desk at work. And also stays open on my desk here at home now. So uh, now that work is at home. But this is how it normally looks. And I just mark down meetings and things like that. And my weekly tasks that I want to get done, whether I get them done or not. And so this was January. This was February starting out. I started um, tracking my water because I'm having issues keeping track of my water. Still am. This was Valentine's Day. And as you can tell, I went a little pink crazy, but that's okay. This is about as decorated as you will ever see anything in my, in my cousin of Beck. Now that's very different in my weeks. And later this week, I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing on my self-care and my tracking of self-care, uh, especially during these past few weeks. Um, this was the last week in April or in uh, February. This was our uh, leap anniversary, and pretty much all the rules went out the window. And uh, this was the first week of March, and the second week of March, and then here is where we started working from home. Gulf Wars was officially canceled, so my vacation was officially canceled there. Um, yeah, this week was stressful. That weekend was stressful. I did do my lucky 13 race, my 10K, and I was very glad I did because that was the last official race in Salt Lake. And uh, I'm glad I actually got to go ahead and do it, even though at that point in time, they had said, um, no gatherings for 250 or more, um, they still had permission to do that. And honestly, I don't think there were 250 people in that run because so many people had kind of gotten shell shocked and stayed home. Uh, then this was St. Patrick's Day. We had this is the earthquake, and this is about when things started going off the rails for me. And you, you will see that throughout the next week. Um, here it started picking back up um, a little bit. Um, we did go ahead and take Heimdall to the vet. Uh, we had to sit in the parking lot and they came and got him and they brought him back out. They brought us the food that we ordered and it was very interesting. Um, it was kind of horrifying too. I, I love our vet. Our vet is amazing. But one of the workers came out and we had already given them Heimdall to take in and everything and they had numbered stalls. And she goes, and she knocks on our window and we're like, yes. And she goes, are you guys the ones that have the DOA? And I'm like, no, <laughs> kind of freaked out a little bit. And then I was like, oh, that would be a horrible, horrible knock on the window. So not one that I would ever want to have, but she was very young and probably could have handled that a little better, but, um, it's all kind of crazy times and they're doing the best they can and they have been fabulous. Um, then this is this week, and as you can see, I'm getting a little bit more back on track and tracking a lot more here. This is today, and then I have gone back to blocking out my uh, window, my eating window, because, yeah, you'll see in my other review, yeah, that, uh, that C word 19, yeah. Also means, you know, adding weight. Somebody was like, instead of the freshman 15, you have the C word 19. And I'm like, no, but I am up. And so I'm going back to staying with my, uh, within my eating window so that I can kind of focus on that. I have no idea if that's going to happen or not. We'll see. Um, around here, I was supposed to, we were actually planning on flying out to Manassas, Virginia to visit um, our with some of our dear friends and celebrate their wedding that happened on Christmas. But that trip is not happening either. So, yeah. We'll go sometime later in the summer, I think. But, um, 
So then we get into the monthly or the daily view. Now these are the yearly goals that I had. And despite uh, aside from the ones that I've already done, yeah, we're just going to put those on hold. So here was January and you know, it there were issues, I mean, you know, I don't mind a blank page. It means that something happened that day that I couldn't get in and do it. And that's fine. Other days I have a lot of things written in. But as you can tell, I don't do a lot of stickers um, other than my monthly goal page. So this was February's. And going in. Uh, February is usually a hell month for me because we have... Uh, not only do we have Valentine's Day and on Leap Day um, every four years, but that's when my, like, five biggest events hit. And they're all conglomerated into one week. And so the last week of February is usually just hell. And it was this year. Um, so there's that. That was our our Leap anniversary, And <laughs> this... This was the ENI Summit. This was the last day of the massive events. I had 207% of my steps. I did 20,752 steps in a 15-hour period. So, yeah, it was crazy. So, this was March. Lots of things lined through. Things got canceled. It, it was not good. So, I'm pretty consistent throughout... And right about here, when we started figuring things out, <sighs> Gulf Wars was canceled. I had to go get cat food and everything so we could survive, or they could survive. And thinking, okay, this will be all right. Well, I can do two weeks. Yeah, no, it was not a good, this was the start of not a good week. And I tried... I was trying very hard. Then, last weekend, uh, friends of mine set up a new server for gaming for Seven Days to Die with a new mod called Darkness Falls. And I had the best weekend ever. I loved it. And I just got to do something normal, which is gaming. And so, I spent the whole weekend gaming and I feel no guilt about it whatsoever. This was Monday, this was Tuesday, and then this starts April. So this was yesterday, and this is my April goals. Run 60 miles um, in the month, 10K steps every day, um, read 30 minutes a day, and then do yoga, TRX, or strength training three times a week. Um, and then I have a place for me to mark down the things that I'm going to be working on in the house. But that's it. I, because we don't know what's going to happen in May and June, I'm just like, we're just going to hang out and see. So this is today, and I've just put in the things i got to get done. But this is where my quarterly review starts. And so this is the year to glance, and this is where I'm tracking my runs. And so I had 22 runs for March. And I did 50.6 miles for the month. And so you can tell I had a lot more runs. And I've been running consistently since the 14th. So since my uh, 10K, I've ran every day. So I plan to do that here. And if I just do two miles a day, I'll hit 60, 60 miles in the month easily. So uh, here is my, you can break it down for quarters. And so you have the calendar here, and then you have a way to break it down. These were my goals for each month. And January was pretty good. March, or February, good. I got a lot of things done. March, eh. Lots of things either closed, or I couldn't get them done. Or I'm just, I just was like, sorry, I'm done. Amy's done. We're just going to push those forward. So, uh, this is, uh, April and it'll be work from home the entire month. And that's the goals that I just read you. My main focus is to do what I can with what I have and focus on the new now, not the new normal, the new now. So that's kind of where I'm doing that. 
And then these are the trackers. You have a tracker for every month and you can fill these in. And so this was January's, this was February's. Again, my hell week and I'm like, ah, this was March. Ended on the 12th and on the 13th, as of from the day I worked from home, I was just like, screw it all. <laughs> I don't even care. And at that point, I was just, I just kind of gave up, which is okay. I'm giving myself the grace to do that and not beating myself up about it. I'm just like, it is what it is. And I'm not going to go back and try to guess or anything like that. It's like, nope. March, the second half of March, pretty much a wash. And I'm okay with that. It was me trying to survive my brain, working at home, and the stress levels that I had. So this is April's. And I have 68 hours of sleep, stretch, squat, and flex every day, walk, run, two miles a daily, my AM meds, read 30 minutes a day, um, work in my daily journals, fasting, 8 to 10 a.m., 8 p.m. to 10 a.m., uh, work on blog or channel every day, uh, 100 to 112 ounces of water, cleaning list daily, uh, yoga, TRX, alternate exercise every day, or three times a week, 10K steps every day, laundry daily as needed, creative every day, game time, cook dinner, uh, PM meds, and bed by 1030, which I did not get last night because we had to give Saki an emergency shower, but that's okay. I did not mind that one bit at all. And she is doing great, by the way. Uh, you will see here, um, these are just the rest of the trackers. And I didn't, I hadn't gone back and done my January overview. Um, these are the weekly days that, and at this point in January, I did not have this. I kind of went back and looked through it. And here's when I got it. And I didn't know how to do the January review or February overview yet. And so a little bit more than the weekly for February. More weeks in February. And this is just a supplement to the weekly in my cousin Avec. So usually if something gets here, it doesn't get moved over to the other side. So it just depends on what's open in my book. So here I did a February review. And here's how I was trying to set March up. And I was going to do the overview for March. And this is as far as I got for that. Then everything, of course, got canceled. And, oh, I need to move that. So that was March. And then the first week of March, second week of March. And here's we go home. And then the third week... There's actually more here than there is in my cousin of back, and it's just because I had this open more. So, and but then here from the 23rd to the 28th, less is here because I was using my cousin of back, and that's okay. I don't mind going back and forth. So here's the March review, and I ended. I started the month at 227.8. I ended at 235.6. So I'm up seven something pounds. Yeah, we're going to have to work on that. Um, my average steps, I had the best month out of the first quarter in March. I also hit 50 miles, which was the best or the third top month ever since I started tracking my running in 2011. And my average minutes, active minutes were on average for the whole quarter. And then seven hours and 52 minutes was my average sleep time, which was the best month ever since I've started this tracking it in... Uh, October 2018 is when I started focusing on my sleep and so and doing active tracking and so that was actually the best month ever and so this is how I have the April overview set up and just some overall things I need to get done when I do my cleaning for the month this is where I'll just note it down and then this is the month so as you can see I have the application deadline for the TEDx uh, Salt Lake City, and it's called Unconventional Wisdom, and I'm actually, hopefully, hopefully, going to submit an application for my first TEDx talk. We'll see if I can get off my butt and actually figure it all out. I have the theme and everything in my head. I just got to actually get it on paper. So this is this week, 
and this is how we have it set up here I'm putting in my gratitude at the bottom and mostly it's when I eat and what I'm eating and things that I want to get done that I just keep forwarding so that is pretty much my quarterly review and how I am tracking this um, as far as April goes I am doing it or the second quarter I'm doing it on a month-to-month -month basis because as I said I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen after this month so we're just going to take it one month at a time I'm going to focus on what I can and what I can get done I'm not going to try to push myself um, other than the 60 miles that I want to get done but that is one thing that I know I can control and so you know even though I'm working from home and there's not a lot of activity there's a lot of things to track and things that I can put into my planner and so it just depends on how you look at it you know if you're used to putting in tons of social activities and such like that yeah it's gonna be hard to figure out how to transition that to something else but I'm I'm a big data tracker and so I have that information um, later on this week I'm going to show you how this whole thing has affected my self-care and what it looks like in my self-care tracker which is my Hobonichi weeks um, and so I will show you that as well because it did not turn out as well as this um, and that's where I do a lot of my decorating and having a lot of fun with it and there were there's a lot of bare spots so I'll go through that with you later on this week but I just wanted to give you an update on my quarter and how I have April set up so I hope you guys have been um, taking care of yourself that you're staying inside that you're doing all of the things that the CDC requires and is asking of us and that you stay safe so uh, I hope that you all spend the rest of your lives celebrating because it is worth every moment whether you're stuck inside or not. So have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.